It's been a long time that people in rank just run around and shoot with their quick peeks and movement and flashy aim. Players like Messi J take everything slowly and play with strats, which is completely fine. Siege was and is supposed to be like that. But why rank games are so fast these days? Why your teammates or your enemies die so fast? Well, because you make so many simple mistakes and when you play against a player like me, for example, I know what's going on. So I'm not going to stand back and take my time. I'm going to take advantage of those mistakes. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a couple of mistakes you might make that are holding you back from improving or ranking up. Number one is so simple. You are overpicking everything confidently and you're shit. Like you think you're spoiled or I don't know, some insane player. So you decide to push everything and pick every single guy you see, especially when you're defending. Like at least be good mechanically and then do it. Be smart or just waste time, play back and use your utility. Know what you're doing, not like these two guys who got predicted by me. Go top, go top, I found the bomb. Low One close left to go. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, dead. Changing mics! Hate one guy, he's close on the right side bridge. Back on the door. One close right. Second mistake is also very simple. Just open the walls and windows and doorways. Are you going to stand in the middle of three angles? No. So your enemy will do the same unless he wants to die early. I see a lot of players who just want to quick pick their way into every single room without opening any walls or applying pressure from anywhere. I mean, look at this termite. He died on the window challenging defenders. Or these guys are attacking bakery and prep wall is still closed. So I can just push in and out of prep and get a couple of kills. Why not? Two guys, Two guys prep. prep. Opening, Opening bridge. bridge. Nice. nice. One, one more. more. On the back, the back. Oh, he's, oh, he's not looking at me. Okay. He's pushing, pushing, pushing. Prep. Go, go try the bar. Swinging, swinging. Ah, Let's go with that side. Small. He's at the side, main door. Back, back, back. Going, swing, swing, swing. Never mind. That's it. That's it. Right side, right side, right side. Right right Mistake number three is not doing anything. You have to be more active. A lot of my games are just super easy. Like I'm just chilling next to side going around and not even a wall is opened or none of the rooms next to side are taken. Just a couple of people walking around alone, challenging us and whoever dies first, I guess loses the round. Doesn't matter how hard it is to attack, you gotta take rooms one by one until you get close to site. On cop house, after you open CCTV breach, you have to take garage control or the other side which is construction. On canal, you have to take control of top red and 90 so then you can actually push in and plant the bomb. Your job on defense is to exactly deny that. That brings me to my next mistake. When it comes to taking map and holding it, you have to know what operator can make that job easier for you. Don't just play like Warden every map and site. He is good but not in every case. We can say the same for Zombie. She's super powerful but you might find playing mute more useful. If you're playing like close quarter area, then shotguns might be the best option. On the other hand, nades or flashes can be the solution to clear those corners. A really simple example is when we attack study when they are defending statue and trophy. So I play lion. Why? Because I can flash the door, use my lion scan, and then push in and take one room. Then we continue this process while we take our time until we get close to side door. So this door, current, careful. Oh. My 90 clear. 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. 90. 90. Wait, top. You're 90, one, 90. Statue, one guy. Is it a warden? No, 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 that's not warden. Can you join it? Can you join it? I'm just wall banging. I hear him. Oh, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. Took a one, one on me, took a two on me. Dead. Sending Go side, maybe. You as a warden. Brother, <laughs> Mistake number five is spawn picking. I only spawn pick if it's low risk, high reward. If you're super good and you have the map knowledge, sure, go ahead. But in general, don't overdo it. If you face good players, then you just give away one easy death. Mistake number six is losing your drone. Replace it in the map, ban solace or don't, but use your drones more efficiently. There are literally free kills and free rounds. I do queue most of the times and using our drones together is one of the important aspects of winning more games. If you don't have a duo still, you want to save them both and use it like how I showed in the Spoid vs Shaco video. Also don't just go straight with your drone. Check corners, check for camps, traps and etc. No listen, it was like on the other yeah, door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh I could have fucking killed him. Oh, you mean on the... Okay, okay. Yeah, that's a hiding spot. That's why I thought like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, know okay, it, okay. so you just... When okay, it's open. Okay, it's open. Yeah, yeah. I, we can, we can. It's kitchen door, kitchen, kitchen door. In, in open now? now? On the middle of open, on the middle of the desk. Speaking the window, window, I'm standing, standing. Nice. That's him. Kill if you go fast. Drone has located a bomb. Proceed to bomb. Oh, he's reinforcing? Yeah, Alright, I'm gonna ping, I'm gonna ping here, okay? He's beautiful, he wants to ping, Right there, right there, right there. Still there, still there. Nice. Ha 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 
<laughs> Mistake number seven is not realizing when to play aggressive and when to play passive. If you are low on mana advantage, then you have to be a bit aggressive so you can make it even. Then you switch to passive mode. If for example you're attacking and defenders are those type of players who run out and swing everything, then hold angles, be unexpected, such as rappelling upside down or going prone on the angles they don't expect. Watch how me and my duo play this 2v3 situation together. Okay, 190. Hold there, hold there, yeah. You're gonna get that kill. Art. Uh, he CC, he CC. He CC to go, he rotated. Osa and Fika both here. Okay, down one of them. He's done, he's done. He's done. I got him to go, I got him, I got him. Go back, go back, go back. Go back. Yeah, 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 I am, I am. I'm hold. I have a tight angle. I have a tight angle. Don't be, don't be, don't be pushing, pushing, CC, CC, CC. When you swing, I, I when you shoot, I pick, okay? Cici, or when I shoot, you pick. Okay, see, see. Don't pick, don't pick. Go, go full back, go fully back. It doesn't matter, really. Not gonna do it. Well, I'm kinda safe here. I'm hiding, yeah, I'm hiding. You just play, okay? 15 seconds left. I'm baiting. Blitzing. 10 seconds left. She can. 5 seconds. Currently, last operator. Nice enough. Nice. Nice enough. Back in Joy Cooper. Moving on to mistake number 8 is not holding entries. This might be similar to contesting map control, but it's actually different. For example, when I drop red hatch on cafe, obviously my next take is cigar. And look how good these enemies are holding cigar. Can you fuck my death, right? Yeah, I got him. No, I didn't get him. Yeah, he's me. Wait, I can't. I, I might just push him. I'm just gonna push him. Where was your problem? Wait, wait. Can you hold him? Wait, wait. wait. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay. I'm going to go. Or when I'm defending, I decide to hold Gong, which is an entry. That's where attackers push into map. And look at what happens if you just waste time and don't let attackers push in easy. I'm reloading! What? Oh, oh, okay. You should know that. Okay. Mistake number 9 is getting greedy. It's 4v2 or 3v1. You can win this game if you just wait and hold crossfires, but no. You need to get that last kill. Well, there was this game on Clubhouse where these guys throw like 3 rounds when they had the advantage. This happens most of the times in any rank. People think that okay, last guy is terrible surely, so let's run at him and finish the round. I wish people at this would run together and refrag instead of going 1v1, so the opponent can fight one guy at a time. Okay, well, this guy. He's not done. He gets pushing out to the bridge. Look out, look out for the bridge. Breach? Breach again, breach. Yeah. Under the window. He's right, 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 right. He's going CC window. He's for the draw. Nice, down, down, down. Should be breach, should be breach. Breach or on the bomb. The diffuser is now secured. Sixty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Could be the window as well, Senna. Could be left side of the window. No, nice, brother. You're so good. Back on the third box. Blue door. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my god! It's down. It's not down? That's crazy. He shot C4, I think. He dead, he dead. Last guy should be blue or back. Don't die, don't die, don't die. You have uh, one drone where he moves. Did he can drop and plant? Cover the latch. Yeah, in blue, in blue, blue. Go, go, drop, 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 drop. Do I hold, hold him up? Yeah. Yeah. He's still there, not reacting. Not, not reacting, reacting, not reacting. He's still uh, in blue. blue. He's picking, picking the, the blue door, blue door now. now. He's on the on blue, blue door. door. Picking, picking in. In, in now. In flash. Back. 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 In back. back. Still no rotation. No rotation. No rotation. In now. In now. First box. Swinging. Door. Swinging. I guess. I guess. I guess. On Ekis, on Ekis, on Ekis. And last mistake you make in Siege that I want to mention in this video is that you stick to couple of operators only. Let's say two attackers and two defenders. 
There are so many ops in this game that can be useful on different maps and sites. For example, you should be able to play Monty because a lot of people don't know how to deal with that. On defense are operators like Smog you have to master. Not only he's powerful, but also helps you to be better at positioning and controlling how the round is being played. So start now, try to play all the different operators and find out which one is more useful for the map you're playing. That's it for today's video everyone. Hope you learned a couple of new things and it can improve your gameplay. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and I see you all in the next video.